All right. Welcome back to another episode of Yeast 8. I am planning to do two more recordings just so that way I can have like a stockpile of recordings that I can just edit. Um, let's see. Let's talk to some of the characters in the village before I go off. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Get some rest. I never expected such a threat to be hidden. That's another problem to solve. Anyway, if there are signs of an attack, I'll send Pero your way. I'll be counting on you to join the in interception when the time comes. Show the map. Hmm. Does he like Let's it? Let's see. Hmm. This is great. Yes, give me rewards. This is from me. A heal potion. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. What about you? What do you have to say? Yes, I've... Yes, I've just recently finished seeing to everyone. Fortunately, there were no serious injuries, thanks to your fine leadership, Captain. I'd say it was more thanks to everyone pitching in to help. I'm grateful that you're with us, Doctor. I hope you'll continue to look after us. Haha, <laughs> gladly. I feel like the Doctor and his voice keep melding together. Barbaros. <clears throat> Ew, looks like we're able to force the beast to turn back. I was pretty nervous there, but I guess we handled it. Yes, this was everyone's victory. Amateurs like us were able to succeed thanks to the captain's wise commands and... 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 And nothing. Mr. Kristen, let us search for more survivors. <laughs> Stubborn till the very end. Oh, we're not going to thank me for my work. <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> Be that way. All right. So I need to go back here, but we can we can um we can cut across. Right? Oh no, I got this place confused with someplace else. Uh, this is the part where we climb the vines. Okay, let's go across these falls. Oh, something's there. Actually, <gasps> treasure chest. Treasure chest. Okay. So now we climb yeah. up these yeah. vines. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay. Is there a place down there? Oh, there's a crab down there. Ugh. Should I do it? Yellow. You never know what could be over here. Allow me. Let's go. Red cape. Cool. Alright. Back Come up on, this. Come on. Come Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Must have flexed too hard. Sahad! How could you? <laughs> Sorry about that. What did Come I do on. to deserve this? <laughs> A rare catch. Nice. Omelet recipe. Also nice. Okay, uh. I don't trust that. Woo! <laughs> Not done yet! Next, next! Alright. Something down there, you think? 
There's a way to climb back up. Uh. Uh. Ah. Uh, let's just go this way. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. A treasure chest. What now? <laughs> Not done Switch. Yet. Yes. Leave yeah. it to me. Let's go. Yeah. Allow me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this Looking looks like this is probably another boss fight. Okay, let's go this way first. What's over here? Yeah. Over here yeah. is a way to make a shortcut. Nice. Yeah. Look at all the fish. Where yeah. is this? Oh. This is tough. <laughs> Where is this? Eat this. I don't think I went on this path now. before. What now? Oh, I know where we are. <laughs> oh, something's there. <laughs> this was the um the spot with the treasure chest, but oh, I didn't have the the gloves to climb across before, but now I do. Ooh, a treasure chest! Snake amulet. <laughs> Woo! Treasure! Did it. Defense elixir. Nice. Okay, so. Hey, your yeah. turn. Bandit gloves. All right, and then we can just go here. Come on. <clears throat> now we're <gasps> back here. Probably going to have another boss fight, right? Oh, it's something hanging from below. It's like a chameleon. Mr. Kristen, there's something in front of us. A butterfly chameleon? <laughs> with, with crazy horns. It's like a triceratops butterfly oh, chameleon. How did it do that? It seems capable of changing its skin coloration to blend in with its surroundings. I knew I sensed something peculiar. Here it comes! This is gonna be an interesting fight. I'm guessing it's not gonna- OH JESUS! I'm losing hell. I'm gonna finish it. 
Now no! Oh. Crap, I fell. How do I get back up? Oh, that's not good. Oh, but fighting him down here is a lot easier. An opening! Oh, he fell! I gotta get stronger again! Yay! That wasn't so bad. Okay, so are we gonna rescue the lady who's over here, I'm guessing? I'm sure we've gotta be gone through the jung jungle by now, right? Sure! We've made it to the west side of the island! We heard someone's round Allow here. Me. Let's go uh, look for him, at all. Rare catch. Go. Yeah. 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 And while I do want to collect yeah. whoever it is, let's also yeah. explore the side. Yeah. Oh, there's something over here that's blocking our path. Look how huge that is! This is gonna require a lot of people. It needs 14 people. Treasure chest. Tease note two. I know how to hunt and fish, at least. I'm confident I can survive here. I left no stone unturned, and yet I'm no closer to finding a way off this island. I managed to build a raft, but the tide was too strong. I didn't make it very far. Maybe I really am trapped here. Forever. No, I can't give up. Yet. Not while I'm still alive. T. What's this? It appears to be left behind by someone who was here before us. Who knows if this person is still alive, though? Right there! All you little Get lady! Hit the target! Right there! We're gonna find out that, like... T is the master villain who got us on this island in the first place. <laughs> like the whole reason why we crashed is because of T. That's ridiculous. However, if that does come true, I have not played this game. And that's just a stupid guess of mine. I was being dumb. Cool. Metavolith. What a Lycus? superb view! Metavolith. Yes, I don't know how to pronounce that. Ripe mango. Also, I see the person down there. I'm just trying to collect right all there. this yeah. stuff while right I'm out there. here. <laughs> I did it. I don't have that many. I'm getting nervous. Um, I don't have that many uh, worms left. <laughs> and I did it. Caught a salmon. I'm out of bait. Yeah. Oh, there's something there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember this lady. You found someone who could be a castaway. Do you want to talk to her? Yes. She was the cool lady who uh, was on the uh, the top side of the boat and was like, she wanted to have a drink with Adol. Hmm. Who are you people? Were you a passenger aboard the Lombardia? Dr. Kiergaard told us you were here. We've come to escort you. After introducing everyone, Adol explained the situation to the woman. A deserted island. Well, that certainly explains a lot. 
I'll have to thank Dr. Kiergaard for telling you where to find me. By the way... Hey! Red! Where'd you dig up that sword you got there? It's old, rusted, and the cutting edge is nicked all to hell. Oh, is she like a blacksmith? I'm sure you know how to use it, but you can't fight at your full potential with a dull sword. And you, Blondie! That rapier's got a flashy hilt, but the blade needs work badly. If I had to guess, that thing hasn't seen real combat in years. Y you could tell with just a glance? And your weapon is garbage. Literally. You're definitely going to injure yourself if you keep swinging that thing around. <laughs> now that you mention it, my back's been aching more lately. I'm surprised you made it through the jungle with those weapons. You seem to know a lot about weapons. Um. Oh, Kathleen, I love that name. I would hope so. What with my dad being a weaponsmith and all. The name's Kathleen. Good to meet you. A weaponsmith? Then, would you be able to maintain our weapons? <clears throat> I'd be happy to, but I'd need a smithy to work in. If you can provide one, I can maintain your weapons. The farther we go on this island, the stronger the beasts get. And we can't exactly buy new weapons on this island either. Personally, I'd love it if you could maintain our weapons if you don't mind. I wonder if we could build a smithy at the village. Why don't we discuss this with the captain and Dogie back at the village, Mr. Kristen? Hmm? Yeah, let's head back to the village. Adol and the others decided to escort Kathleen back to Castaway Village. From there, after consulting with Barbaros and Dogie, they decided to build a smithy in the village. Using debris that had washed ashore, they managed to construct a rudimentary furnace and bellows. When all was said and done, Kathleen had all the equipment she needed to do smithing. Woo! Oh, very nice. Hmm, less than ideal, but I can make do with this for now. Plus, I can use this to compensate for the furnace's insufficient heat. What is it, a fire rock? What is that? This is called a flamestone. It's good for keeping the furnace hot. I only have one on me, but it should do the trick for now. Then we can finally... Yes, I'd like to start with your sword first, Adol. You can make it even stronger by reforging it. You can reforge weapons to create brand new, more powerful ones! Alright. Here, take these, Adol. Dogi gave those materials to me. Go ahead and give them a try. Alright. How can I help you today? Leave it to me. All right, finished. Reforged. All right. Oh, we can only do that for now. <laughs> wow, what a sword. It's vastly improved. I'm impressed. What do you think, Adol? It's fantastic! <laughs> I knew you'd appreciate it. Making a weapon for a swordsman like you really gets my furnace burning. But with what I got to work with, that's the sword. But with, with <clears throat> but with what I've got to work with, that sword's the best I can do right now. But if you keep bringing me flamestones, I can keep on reforging your weapons. Please bring me any flamestones you find. <laughs> sure thing. Man, blacksmiths are pretty great. Indeed. We certainly can't have performed such skilled weapon refinement ourselves. 
Please forgive my impertinence, but how? But do you know how to forge armor? Of course, that wouldn't be a problem for me. Really, man, you're useful. Oh my gosh. I've got no reason to turn you away when my services can help us get off this island. Come to me for anything you need. I like this lady. Um, let's reforge weapons What should first. I upgrade? I'll get started. Alright, finished. I'm out of iron ore. Alright. How can I help you today? That will probably keep me from making that stuff. Ooh. But this one... Leave it to me. Ooh, it's complete. Leave it to me. Ooh, it's complete. Is that it? That's it for now. <laughs> Let's check this out. Oh, we've got new quests. Um, I talked to Captain Barbaros and decided to assemble a small boat. Can somebody help me gather materials? I'd like to create new accessories. Let me practice with difficult materials. Okay, so I can do Allison's quest here. And there are swarms of beasts called Hyuppers at the Nameless Coast. They reproduce fast and leaving them be is dangerous. Please thin their numbers. <laughs> so we can pick up your quest. Ah, about the Hyuppers. According to Paro, they have an astonishing reproduction rate. If we leave them alone, it could become problematic. If you find a large group of them, please consider thinning their ranks. We're depending on you. Let's then see, let me see if I've done more for the map. Nope. You didn't make much progress. All right. And I know I don't have Dogi stuff because I have never heard of whatever resin he's talking about. Oh, Adol, I actually want to protect. I actually want to practice making a new accessory by using difficult to handle materials. I'm in no particular rush, but could you find me three thick hides? I have plenty of those. Welcome. Oh no. Did I did I spend them all? Oh no, thick hides. I only have thin hides. Are you done already? Hold on. Can I make thick hides? Can I like turn that in over here in the storage material area? Oh, I only have two. I don't have that special Remix. I only have the regular kind. <laughs> but I suppose I should talk to him anyways. Did you see my request? <laughs> I'm trying to build a small boat. If you can find me three Lecta resin and give them to me, I can waterproof it. Keep me in mind if you find some. I'm counting on you. Okay, so that's that. I have enough thick hides for your request. Thank you very much, Adol. I'll get right on it. <sighs> it was a little harder than I expected, but I somehow managed to finish. Please take this. Gold cape. You did a great job. No. I couldn't have done this without you. I bet my husband could have finished it without any trouble at all. Still, I'm glad I was able to finish it all by myself. I can't pick up a weapon and fight like you and the others at all. But I still want to help everyone in the village. My tailor skill my tailoring skill is nowhere near my husband's. But I don't want to give up. I want to do everything I can. So if you ever need anything tailored, please leave it to me. We did it! Nice! Ooh, and she can make more stuff now. Welcome! Okay, the huntering hat. Great, there's a, <gasps> there's a thing blocking over here. Uh, Adol, a moment, please. I don't know who that is. Oh! I was just about to post this on the bulletin board, but given its importance, it's best if I talk to you about it in person. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks to your efforts, the search for the castaways has gone very well, but the village is still at risk of being raided by beasts, so we can't let our guards down. I'd like for you to help us fortify the village defenses. I'd be happy to help. Once again, I'm sorry to ask you to do so much for us. We should start by building structures to protect ourselves from the beasts. I was thinking about building a watchtower over yonder. Do you think that would help the villagers feel safer? That's a good idea. Hmm, thank you. We need to fortify our raid defenses as well, but at the moment a watchtower is top priority. We need to gather enough sturdy materials so we can build one. Little Pero has told me of some promising areas where such materials can be found. A vast canyon can be found north of the Nameless Coast. There, you can find three areas where high-quality wood and stone can be gathered. We should scout the area first. Yes, exactly. We need to determine just how viable these materials are. I would hate for you to chop down a tree and drag it back here for nothing. First, we need someone to thoroughly scout the area. I'd like you to be that someone. Thank you. This will help us considerably. Please report to me once you've located the materials. Be careful out there. Okay. So we need to scout that area out. Another thing we need to do is we need to look at some of these places that I uh, that I didn't have access to or didn't have enough people yeah. for. Because I definitely have enough people for yeah. some stuff now. So let's first go over here because I know that there was some vines that I could climb. So let's go see what that leads us. A large pile of boulders blocks our path. 11 people are needed for that one. Okay. Yeah. And then down this way, like down and around yeah. were those uh, vines. Yeah. These yeah. vines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, it was just bait. Okay. Something's there. This, right? Okay, we have nine people, so we can do this. After sending Little Peril, everyone in Castaway Village arrives to help. Oh man, the whole path is buried under this landslide. Well, let's get to work. I'll need everyone's help to clear this. I'm exhausted. Someone fetch me some wine and make sure it's ice cold. Sir Car Crash. Hmm? Oh dear. Don't tell me I was forced to walk all this way just to clear this landslide. That's exactly right. We're all going to chip in and get rid of it. Bah, spare me your silly talk. Why should I partake in such a meaningless gesture? We should be preparing a ship, not wasting our time with this. This is not meaningless. There could be other survivors who need our help. Y yes, my husband must be somewhere on this island. They're right, Sir Carlin. We'll need to focus on saving them. Yeah, we can't just leave any stone unturned. I'm going to help too. Insolent fools! How dare you presume to give me orders! And how dare you look at me with your loathsome, sullen faces! I understand your irritation, Sir Car Crash, but searching the island is our top priority. What? That's nonsense! Your priorities are s completely askew! As long as there are lives in need of saving, we are obliged to help them. That's just common sense! But if you're in such a hurry to leave, why not build a boat yourself? Grrr! I tire of this wearisome talk. Do as you like. Sir Car Crash leaves. The number of villagers willing to help answer a help request is decreased by one. Huh? He just ditched us. Guess we re we can't rely on him to help us. 
Hmm. Perhaps I'll put him aside for our private talk later. But for now, clearing this landslide is our main focus. I'll need everyone to help for this task. I'm happy to help. Me too. Let's get started. And so the castaways began working together to clear the landslide. Oh, I guess earlier if Thanks, I had tried- everyone. If I had tried to do this earlier before I recruited Kathleen, it wouldn't have worked. I bet he would have been like, I'm not gonna help, and it would have been like, oh no, we don't have enough people. Is that the only thing that I... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I can't... I can't go... Okay, so this is the only way to go. Yeah! Huh. The environment's changing on us. Yes, the forest is getting denser. This island seems rich with vegetation. This area is filled with new varieties of beasts. Be on guard! Alright, so we're now going to encounter maybe stronger and more difficult enemies. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Yeast 8. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye!